of them out on the streets. Now, President Haka Indehichidema says government is ready to provide funds to build more Zambia National Service training schools. The head of state underscored the importance of ZNS training schools and skills, saying they contribute to the country's economic transformation and recovery agenda. President Hichilema said this at the ZNS Kafio Training School during a pass-out parade for 290 officer cadets. He says ZNS should be aligned to government's strategies and objectives of turning around the economic fortunes of the country through enhanced agricultural activities. And Defence Minister Ambrose Luhuma says the ministry will be the flagship of sustainable development in the country. Mr. Lufuma says ZNS will soon start flooding the local market with Millimil and maize bran. He, however, admitted the recruitment of the cadets was a challenge as there were many youths who respected, res rather desperately wanted to join the rank and file of the service despite them possessing the right qualifications. President Haga in the Hichilema says the number of women taking interest in serving the country is encouraging. Speaking during the Pass Out Commission Parade at Kafio Zambia National Service Military Training School, he said government is committed to fully support regular recruitment training programs as a way of mitigating the adverse effects of retirement. It is And the Minister of Defense, Ambrose Lufuma, said his ministry can be the flagship of lasting national development. He said the ministry through the Zambia National Service will soon start flooding the local market with milli meal and maize grain. <laughs> And the school commander, Keno Gilbert Lungu, said 290 cadet officers comprising of 184 male and 106 female out of 332 that undertook training on the 20th December 2020 have graduated today. Mr. President, the the most academic and
ZNS Commander Lieutenant General Maliti Solochi said it was a challenge as many youths with impressive qualification showed up in numbers but unfortunately only a few were selected. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to hasten to state that my command wants to build on today's achievement by working on improving further the composition of future intakes by implementing equitable provincial quotas during recruitment so that there is effective promotion of ethnic balancing in the Defence Force and ZNS in particular, in line with the Republican Constitution. You may wish to note, Mr. President, that the recruitment of these cadets was a challenge as we had a huge number of youths who desperately wanted to join the rank and file of the Zambia National Service. As a result, there were a lot of negative reports after the recruitment exercise, as it was not possible. President Hakainde Hichilema has